Do you regret buying a home in 2021 or 2022? This is gonna come very personally for me because I also made a move in 2022 in May, which was, as you can see, the peak of the market when it, when it comes to prices. But am I feeling really sad or bad? Do I make any regrets of what move I make? These are very honest discussions and question mark people are having right now because quite frankly, if you bought in 2022 or maybe even in 2021 nowadays, you may have lost all of the gains. If not, you may be at a loss altogether. So it's important to have this discussion because the feeling of regret isn't a good feeling to have. And this is something that's very important for a lot of people to also understand. At the end of the day, when rates have increased, rates have affected all markets and all assets. So it affected everything. And some actually affected far worse when it comes to something that's a little bit more stable like real estate. Take a look at the NASDAQ and see how it has progressed through the years. Take a look at the ARK fund. Kathy Woods likes to label their ARK invest fund as the new NASDAQ. And quite frankly, it kind of is because those are more uh, younger companies versus NASDAQ still has some huge Goliaths that are already in the S&P. So look at the performance of that here. The feeling that you should be having is, and how I feel about it is, it doesn't matter per se. And here's why it doesn't matter. As long as we're not forced to sell it at a discount, over time, good assets like real estate tend to go up. Do you, should you have waited to buy it later? Maybe. Think about what your interest rate is today and what the payments look like. What was your rate when you actually locked that in when you bought over the course of the last couple of years? And will you ever hit that rate ever again? Probably not. And so at the end of the day, it depends on your monthly payments and it also depends on how your, how your portfolio was constructed. But I would also argue, look at what it would have been if you want to do a fun exercise, even though it doesn't really matter anymore. But so for peace of mind, look at what it has been if you were to hold on to whatever you were holding on to. I'll give you an example. Take a look at Tesla stock. Many of my clients worked at Tesla. It was a good thing that they actually sold a lot of their stock at that time when it was a peak of things. Look at another company like DoorDash. I, I caught up with another company, another client that was at that company. Look at all these companies that it's gonna be very difficult for them to recover back to that number because their price per earning ratios are really probably never gonna hit those numbers ever again. Now the companies can keep growing into it. That's a different story. But the valuation at that time of the multiple may not happen for a long time. And so the question shouldn't be, do you feel regret about it? Because at the end of the day, all assets have been impacted. And you can look at your portfolio of what it would have been and what it could have been. And that's even looking in hindsight, which we all don't have the ability to act really time that way. So for those that have bought a place in 2021, 2022, of course, you gotta figure out what you need to do in the future whether you need to sell at a loss for whatever your own reason is, or like many, hold on to it because it's kind of cool to see the value of it, but it doesn't matter when it comes to this asset and that's a part of the benefits of it. Now, you can also look at the other end for those that have been renting. If they have been saying, oh, let's, let's wait and see, let's keep waiting and seeing. The reality is all that rent does not go towards the principal or towards the house itself. So you also have that as a factor to consider. And, and to be fair, like I'm pretty happy with my move. I kept my old place. I rented that out, so it's generating me passive income. I have a new place that we were able to fortunately settle down and decor the way we want, and we like the location. And then over a course of time, over my time horizon is at least several years. With that in mind, that's also very important to understand when we go through all these different media news and outlets of like the world is ending, everything is going to nothing. Because at the end of the day, if it does, and valuable assets go at the discount. Hopefully during this time, you're also still able to save a good amount of money so that you're also able to try to take advantage of some of these opportunities that may come around. So that's what I see personally. That's my own judgment. Like I said, I personally bought at the quote unquote top of the market, but like it is what it is. It's all part of asset diversifications, having exposure to the right assets. I still have liquidity. I still have money in stocks and bonds and these other assets too. So it's just important for people to be mindful of and to not like feel too bad about it. It's not like if you bought into stocks or something that you are now all of a sudden major up. Most of us are in the tech industry and because you're in the tech industry, most of those valuations have actually dropped quite a bit more than what the prices have of real estate. I hope this was helpful. It's a little bit more uh, personal for this one because I am getting this question. I'm not getting actually the question too much, but it's just on my mind because I'm sure people are thinking about it. But I hope this was valuable in terms of having the proper framework. But if you're actually looking to potentially buy a place now, then it's a really interesting and very good time because rent has continued to increase. Rates have, have dropped, prices have certainly dropped. So at the end of the day, like myself, if you have a long-term time horizon, as in you're gonna be in the Bay Area for at least 
a couple of years, probably the right time to make a move. Hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. Send me a message directly, and I'd love to go over a game plan to go over your situation. Talk soon. Bye now.